So it's been almost three years now since my double jaw surgery back in April of 2016 and I haven't really shared my experience with you guys. I know the first few videos on my YouTube were actually my before and after jaw surgery videos and if you guys do want to see what I looked like before and how swollen my face was afterwards, you can check those out. Now one interesting tie-in is my belief that the nutrition we obtain during key stages of development from pregnancy to breastfeeding to early childhood ultimately determine how our faces will develop. So my belief is that since I did not achieve adequate nutrition during those stages of life, my facial bones did not develop properly and I had to resort to surgical measures to achieve adequate facial symmetry. And yeah, I can't build a time machine and force feed my mother liver and breastfeed myself. So that was kind of out of the question. So back when I was about 13, my parents took me to an orthodontist in one of the outer boroughs, pretty much what they could afford. I had an underbite and a class three malocclusion. Now, any orthodontist worth his weight would have said, give him a couple years, wait till he's older, and then we'll correct this with surgery. And what they did though was they straightened my teeth and tried to curve my lower teeth backward and my upper teeth forward to form a bite. Unfortunately, over my late teenage years, early 20s, my jaw continued to grow. The underbite and the class 3 malocclusion only got worse. Uh, I just got unhappier and unhappier with my appearance and my chin over the course of this period of time. That in combination with my really bad acne, uh, I just wasn't really happy to even leave the house. Uh, my father is one of those people who's like, oh, who cares what you look like? Uh, yet I know how many people have had self-esteem issues with things like acne and braces and whatever it may be. It, it really does ruin people's lives, but I didn't really have a support system and my parents didn't really seem to care. I had to do things on my own. That's why my acne didn't finally clear up until I was like 22 when I took Accutane and I didn't really start exploring jaw surgery options until I was 22, 23. And when I did, I went to a bunch of orthodontists in Manhattan, eventually found one I liked, got referred to a surgeon, and they pretty much set up the game plan of getting braces again, having jaw surgery, and correcting the bite. So what they had to do was they actually had to make the underbite worse. They had to put the teeth where they're supposed to be after the surgery. So I had braces for about a year. Uh, from like mid-2015 to early 2016, had the surgery, and then I had braces for another nine months. So overall, my period of time for this whole procedure was less than like two years, which is very short. A lot of times people will have to have braces and multiple extractions, and it'll be a four to five year ordeal with this whole thing. So overall, the first year or so in braces wasn't really too bad. Um, I mean, Outside of me spending $13,000 of my own money on braces, uh, you know, I was waiting tables and just kind of going with the flow. Uh, eventually, I was pretty unhappy with my job, so I moved my surgery forward and ended up having that in April of 2016. It was a double jaw surgery with genioplasty, so they moved the upper jaw forward, they moved the lower jaw backward, they tilted the jaw, and they made the chin symmetrical with the face. Overall, six hour procedure, no real issues, was out like a light. Uh, the only problems with recovery were that I had a hard time sleeping and that they didn't give me pain medication. In regards to like being wired shut, I was actually rubber banded shut. So I had a small gap that I could put soft food in or a straw in. Uh, for the first week, I did like heavy cream with beef carnivore protein powder which I got sick of. The next week I did like soup, like lobster bisque, clam chowder. And then I la actually landed on soft scrambled eggs for the remainder of the 10 weeks. So first two weeks I was eating like soups and cream. And then the later eight weeks I was eating very soft scrambled eggs. But it was literally like 10 weeks cannot chew really at all. One interesting thing was I actually lost my taste for steak. Uh, I didn't really crave steak anymore. I guess my whole gut microbiome changed to that degree. I was actually supposed to go work out in the Hamptons uh, that period of time, but that didn't end up working out. So 
eight weeks, 10 weeks pass, jaw surgery looks good, uh, get braces adjusted, face is still swollen. It actually took about, you know, the better part of a year for my face to go back to normal. Uh, although, you know, two, three months after the surgery, my face looked okay. Uh, it literally took like nine, 10, 11 months for my cheeks to go back to their normal shallowness. So fortunately, the surgery was covered under my father's insurance because I would not have been able to afford $70,000. Uh, now I have my own health insurance, but it's not nearly as good. Uh, so I'm thankful that I was under his insurance plan at the time and I was able to get the surgery. Uh, the funny thing is I didn't tell my parents I was getting the surgery. So I go down to the city to get the surgery. I had the surgery and the next day they don't let me discharge from the hospital after the surgery by myself. So I have to call up my parents and have them come pick me up at the hospital. And and that day was that day was interesting to say the least. They don't my parents do not trust me one bit anymore. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with Dr. John Mew and Dr. Mike Mew, they practice orthotropics, which is proper facial posture and tongue posture, chewing, things like that. And they believe that facial development is ultimately determined by your posture, essentially, especially your oral posture. But the flaw with this is that babies that are born right out of the womb have drastically different facial structure. Same with children that are one or two years old that are exclusively breastfed. We see drastic differences in the width of the lower jaw, the lips. So to me, the nutrient content during these stages of development is what ultimately determines oral posture. And although fixing oral posture can help the face develop properly, it's not tackling the root cause solution of the lack of nutrients in the diet. And I really haven't seen much evidence that orthotropics can affect the face as an adult. I've seen evidence in children. Uh, that being said, it can definitely help fix your oral posture, how comfortable you are, how well you sleep, and things like that. Overall, a couple things kind of accumulated to me really moving forward with my life. I really don't want to know. I'd probably still be playing video games for 15 hours a day. Uh, me clearing up my skin, me having the jaw surgery and being happy with my appearance, uh, me having LASIK eye surgery and not having to wear glasses. You know, very drastic change in what I used to look like versus what I look like now. And it's still a recent part of my life. I'm 27 now. I've only really been living with it for about two years now. Uh, so to me, it's really, really new. Uh, and that, that's a bit of an understatement. Ever since then, you know, I've been working on the YouTube channel. I've still been pursuing jobs in hospitality as a waiter or a bartender. I'm still doing some personal training stuff on the side. So it definitely helped me open up. To me, ultimately, I made myself happier and then I was able to pursue opportunities that whether or not I could have done them without doing all of these things, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it certainly helps to be better looking and to be happier about your appearance. And for any of you guys that have reservations about doing things like LASIK eye surgery, jaw surgery, like I have no regrets about those things. The only issue I had was if I knew about my diet now, I would have never taken Accutane because that drug is terrible. Uh, that is not the focus of this video. I should probably do a separate video on Accutane and maybe a separate video on LASIK eye surgery. But overall, I, I really can't be happier with the jaw surgery. I mean, I would say if you know the surgeon could have been at 100%, you, you, can, you can't really expect more to be done. You know, there's only such a margin of error when doing these surgical procedures, and there's only so few talented surgeons that do these procedures that uh, I, I really can't emphasize how happy I am. So if you guys do want to know which orthodontist I went to, which surgeon I went to, I'll put that stuff in the description. Uh, one thing I didn't mention was the water flosser and how easy it is to clean your teeth. I can't believe I didn't know about this thing when I had braces. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, a water pick is like a tiny pressure washer for your teeth. It is amazing. I still use it every single day, like twice a day now. Uh, if you don't have a water pick, get one. Uh, there's one on my Amazon shop. I think they're like 60, 70 bucks, but really the most amazing device for cleaning your teeth. 
you know, I floss my teeth, I brush, I blast it with the water flosser, gets things really, really clean, and it made it so easy for me to clean my mouth during the jaw surgery. I had all this gunk built up for like days until I got the water flosser. I was like using a syringe, I was trying to clean everything out, it was a nightmare. I mean, you know, the worst part about the whole thing was probably just not sleeping for the first few weeks. Um, that's the only negative thing I remember. Uh, of course, the water flosser really helped with keeping my mouth clean. I actually ended up gaining weight because of how much butter and cheese I was putting on the scrambled eggs and because of how much I was eating. Uh, you know, I prepared for the surgery. I actually tried to gain a little weight just in case I would lose some. But putting two sticks of butter and a quarter pound of cheese in your scrambled eggs, turns out you can maintain your weight pretty easily. Overall negatives from the surgery, I mean, the feeling on the right side of my chin came back, but the left side is still a little numb here. It never really bothered me, uh, but when they do the surgery, you know, there are nerves here that uh, that they do have to move. So that, that can be an issue for some people. Uh, no real pain or anything anywhere. It's definitely weird. Uh, like, I was always curious about what it would feel like to have a normal bite, but I still feel like I don't have a normal bite. Uh, my teeth fit together much better, but I really do envy people who are born with, you know, proper facial structure, proper facial development. I feel like I will always have some sort of uncomfortableness to my face, but uh, what are you going to do? I can't complain. Um, I'm very happy overall with how I look now and how things ended up turning out, especially compared to what I used to uh, look like and how my jaw used to feel. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to support the channel, please subscribe and share the video. If you guys want to check out my Amazon shop, Patreon, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff is in the description. If you guys do want to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one consultations in regards to improving your overall health, you can send me an email, frankatefano at gmail.com, or reach out to me through the contact form on my website below.